Okay. Anything she can work on. We're gonna need legacies of the past. We're gonna need gall shells. Ugh. Why is why does it always keep popping up as uh, that being new? So we want a money jinx. Because that's got a big stamina buff. Stamina... Wow, okay, that's nearly 100 stamina in and of itself. That's a big bonus. Alright, let's sell the Face of Horror. Let's sell all of these. We gotta relax. Okay, so let's... I'm gonna have her make two more Money Jinxes. Hopefully her efficiency has gone up considerably, so maybe she makes like a really good one. Let's see, she made two really good ones. Cool. So let's see if either of them are actually better than what she's got. 50 stamina. No, actually both are worse. Well, that's fine. Because, yeah, getting her more stamina has actually been one of those, like, problem things for a while. See, the stamina might be better than the HP amulet. For her, yes. Actually, for everybody, possibly. Because what is her what is her current stamina at? What is her? Oh my god! Yeah, it might be. She has eight hundred HP now. <laughs> I gotta look at how does stamina calculate? Oh, damage a character deals with special weapons. So, I assume that's a special weapon. I really have no idea what counts as a special weapon, and it really never says anywhere. This is a bit of a bit of a bother. Okay, so we can't make another one of these. We could actually. Not yet, though. Probably because I made the uh, cursed ingots. Okay, we're close though. What do I need to make legacies of the past? Nothing expensive, so that's a good sign. Uh, let's see. If the Beetle Assistant quest is completed, will it be replaced by a random quest or one of the level 15 ones in? It might pop in. Uh, let's see. So Beetle Assistant requires some of those things. Unfortunately, I think I've gotten rid of the... No, I haven't actually. Eh, let's just make it all. Those are things that we're actually going to have fair, fairly large quantities of. Okay. So I'm still sitting pretty fat and happy resource-wise. We want to take a look at skin and leather. So I can make several of these. Really hoping on some, like, purples. But we're not getting them that much. Okay. Mulmorico. 77%. Group 1. So these... So none of the... None of the skin and leathers I've made are actually good enough. But that's okay. Keep relaxing. Uh, let's see. So what else can I make? So I've made a pretty much all of these that I can. Yeah, do we have anything that I can make that requires minimal resources that I can just spam fire? This one, actually, the hunting gun, would be reasonably easy to mass produce. Do we make a whole bunch of bandit crossbows? Probably. But remember, right, they sell pretty damn well. Six, five, six hundred. But considering how much iron and so on and so forth I have. Yeah, this is why I was low on money. Because I, I just haven't been producing all of the stuff I've been gathering for ever. 
Let's see, do you have any basic weapons we can make? Right. We could make some more forged spears. Those sell for a dang doodle of a lot. Make one of these. The amount of iron that I apparently just have sitting around is actually concerning. Okay, so that's good. I honestly don't know how much iron or wood I'm sitting on, but it is a concerning amount. And I don't have anything that uses more of it, so yeah, I, I actually really do just have to make all of these. See, do I still need more resources for the pretty kitty? I need a lot. It is an issue. Okay, so let's make a beetle assistant. Hopefully that's the only one we need to make and we can finish the quest. But we might have to do it until we get a golden one. Yeah. So we need to keep making them until we get a golden amulet. As a problem. Okay, good. We're finally starting to run out of wood here. She's probably getting stressed out again. And this is the sort of thing where you really should be able to send your people out to do, like, go on adventures while a character is working on these things, but I guess I kind of can. Uh, let's keep going for that. The problem is it just takes so long. Like, I really should be able to queue up a hell of a lot more than just ten things. No, not even ten things at once. That's six things. Let's see. Done with that. Okay, so let's go over here. What weapons can I make? I guess I could have maybe made some more sad wood, but eh, not really. Let's just make an insane amount of soldiers breastplates. So I think the rest of these require like higher tier combinations of resources. And it really is just easier for me to go for this. Yeah, what about fashion shows? Uh, we could actually do fashion shows at this point. I've been lazy, but most of my characters are probably getting pretty swagalicious. The problem is the fashion shows are kind of random. Oh, you know what? Well, he didn't like that. What about this? We're not learning anything useful. How much do I have to bribe them with? I really don't want to give them a beetle assistant. I, I, I'm not entirely convinced if it's worth it. If I'm being totally honest. Like, so the problem with the, um... The problem with the fashion shows is... You get resources that you would normally get from... Just going out and farming. But you're... Chances of winning seem to be kind of random unless your characters are hella swagged out. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did I move her back? I did. Okay, so we want to go here. Moriko Stamina. I spent all of my money on that because it's worth it. Because we want to go to the Money Jinx and we want to make three more. Okay, let's hope some of those come with uh, massive amounts of stamina. Because that would be really nice. What are the star ratings in the top right too? Uh, as far as I know, fashion shows and only fashion shows. If they had other perks, maybe. But your reputation, higher reputation of your village, the better chances you have of getting into the most fashionable contests. It really is just like the fashion shows feed more into fashion shows. Okay, so let's take a look at her. Stamina, stamina, and physical damage. Uh, let's see, so that's 83 versus... 82? I 
think. That's definitively better. It's a really good crit chance, too. So that, yeah, that's, that's massive. Because I'd like that, but the extra stamina, just so that they live through everything, is 100% worth it. Okay. It'll be a shame to lose the Heart of Beloved, but it's not actually that amazing of a weapon. Okay. Let's see how much money I have now accrued. Yeah, I was wondering why I, I was kind of low on money. I was like, I should be fabulously wealthy. Freaking duh. That was about 70,000. That's not bad. Okay, Moriko. Level her up twice. Six times. Okay, so everybody's level 16 now. Put these guys there. Uh, Yeah, I could get another party member. The thing is, until I actually have... Okay, we'll hire one more. Sup, Aiden? Let's see. To take apart, to put together, to explore. This is what matters most to Aiden, regardless of whether el whatever else is happening. So he looks like he's a also an int character. Well, Aiden... You have the glorious purpose of standing around doing nothing for a while. Have fun. Okay, we gotta go get ourselves some more slime. Wait, what the? Man, they all got wrecked except for her. I gotta give her a scrap cannon. Or some kind of new weapon. Damn. You know what? That's actually the one piece of equipment that I haven't bothered with yet. Oh. Right, no, it's her. We need her over there. Okay, so that's a hell of a lot of fabric that I can now produce. So what do we have here? Do any of these... Ooh, there's the moon staff. And her int is stupid high. Okay, her int is now really freaking high. So she's going to be at that for a while. So I'm just going to send these two out. I'm going to send them out. I guess the one caveat here is the amount of money that I make from fighting things might straight up just be worse than the amount of money I make from building things. Why can I not send them out again? Okay, that was confusing. But did she do better with the new orb? Yup. But yeah, it might be worth me looking into actually just getting good, powerful equipment. Just so I can progress faster. Then again, these guys should be able to just clonk through most of the hard things rather quickly after this. And we are getting a lot of money from it. Should upgrading the building increase the odds of making a high quality item? Or is that just recipes? Just recipes. I'm not even sure. Oh, I can upgrade this place. It's like the one place I can upgrade, I think. So I think everything else is is maxed out. Begs the question, what exactly I'd get? I'm not sure. But yeah, no matter what, we need the uh, we need those pants. Everything else is variable. But yeah, if I can get a bunch of characters, those those moon amulets too. It wouldn't be a bad idea. So I'm probably going to want to go farm Kieran after I farm Slime for a while. Okay. Let's close out of this. She's tired. Rest her up. So what does this take? 
uh, oak planks. So that's something. Yeah, I guess there. it looks like there's more progression than what I saw. Let's see, so Moonstaff. Could also get her the Fission Sphere. Yeah, let's get her the Fission Sphere. It's about as expensive as the Scrap Cannon. Not going to make as much money, but... It fits her build anyway. I still have to kind of figure out how the scaling with weapon damage works. I wish it was maybe a little bit more obvious. Really, it's the question of what counts as a stamina weapon because it's special weapons. But what what is a special weapon? I, I don't know. Translation on this is murky. Okay, so we made a moon staff. But let's make a fission sphere. I uh, we just got a really good fission sphere. Let's hope it works for her. I uh, damn it. Well, it's really good. It's really freaking good. Requires level 18 for Moriko. And she needs a hell of a lot more intelligence. Moriko. Oh, that's fine. I don't think I've ever increased her int anyway. Just gonna crank that up. All right. Moriko, have an orb. Have a really good orb. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's all stamina, too. <laughs> oh, that was, that was good timing. Okay, so obviously we want to get her a better wolf hat and some other things, but hey, works for me. Hey, thank you, Paulsum, for the, uh, for the sub. Thank you so much. Also, thank you, Abandon. I apparently abandoned you because uh, I forgot to notice your sub just like two hours ago. Thank you so much. Thank you, both of you. If you're still around, Abandon, I'm so sorry. Okay. So, I'm gonna just stick this guy here. I don't know what to do with him. So, False Crown, no. Do any of these just buff stamina? Moonshoes do, but we don't care about that. No. Also, I love it how my B team actually has the higher level characters. <laughs> it was mildly... No, it completely unintentional. And the mage is the tankiest one in the party. I've always wanted to play uh, games where you can do mage tanking properly. That actually happened in your D&D &D campaign recently. We had a really crappy party. I Someday, I'm going to play a D&D &D campaign and I'm going to have a dwarf with like 20 20 something constitution and i'm gonna go full on like uh mage tank maybe i don't know maybe a pathfinder thing if i've really got to check what uh what pathfinder second edition has for like interesting prestige classes and, and tricks and stuff I'm just going to keep telling them to replay for a while. Let's see, it's been a while since I've watched this water stream, but I appreciate the content and how you play different styles of games from what's popular. I just play whatever looks cool. I've never I've never been interested in playing, you know, oh god, what are the what are the top X games on on Twitch right now anyway? Check browse. Yeah, Fortnite. No, League of Legends. No. I'm surprised GTA 5 is still super popular, but eh. I kind of enjoyed that one, but the 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 uh, microtransactions was just a huge turnoff. Counter Strike, no. Escape from Tarkov, no. Hearthstone, no. Overwatch, no. I liked Apex Legends. Ah, oh, it's apparently a game called Fu. <laughs> Somebody's streaming. Wow, PUBG's really starting to fall off the map. Only 20k viewers. Man, I remember when that was on top. Yeah, I mean, most of the, like, quote-unquote popular things are, like, super competitive stuff. I've just never been able to get into that. I, I just can't. Like, you really takes a while before you actually get down into the, uh, into the games that I'd even be remotely interested in. And even then, most of them are still a little bit much for me. I don't know. I like the unique and weird 
weird shit. And, like, admittedly, this one's maybe a little bit more generic, but, like... Well, I don't know. I guess, actually, it's like, I'd say I like the unique and weird shit, but most of the stuff I play is not actually that weird. It's just, like, you wouldn't see it streamed very often. People go bananas for this sort of thing on YouTube, though. Which I appreciate. And it, I mean, you guys seem to be enjoying it. This is one of the uh, most popular things I've ever streamed. Which is nice. So, Hill Dwarf, Dragon Blooded Sorcerer with the tough feat. Start with three times the health of the party tank. Yeah! I I think I might actually. So, on the topic of DD, I'm probably going to be starting a new campaign within the next, like, week? Maybe two? I got to send one message out to, like, uh, one or two different messages out to people. And more or less be like, yo, you want to play D&D? And then I think I'm going to use uh, DMPCs as a test bed for weird, weird bad builds and see what works. Because, yeah, I'd love to have, like, the party, uh, one of the first DMPCs that, like, helps people out is just a, a dwarf with an unreasonable amount of health. Let's see, have I heard of Yuppie Psycho? I've been watching Rick play that from uh, Stumped Rick, and it looks awesome. I don't know if I'm going to have the time for it uh, in the next, like, week or a couple weeks, but it is on my, um, it is high on my list of of games that I'm, um, I'm interested in playing. I, my favorite horror game is, is uh, Lone Survivor. Oh, favorite, I guess, indie horror game is, is Lone Survivor, and Yuppie Psycho reminds me of it. Like, really hard. And so, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it this month, just because of all the other games that I have to play. Uh, but, very real possibility that October's going to roll around, and I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to start just playing weird, cool horror games. Because I've always wanted to do, like, a proper horror month. But I'm always, like, super swamped with things, or moving, or, like, busy with life. Oh, shit. Except for this this October, I'm actually going to a friend's wedding. That's going to throw things off. We'll see how it goes. Because, yeah, I'm not actually... I don't think I'm going to be around for Halloween. Well, I will be, but I'll be at my parents' place. And I'm not even sure if I want to be at my par parents' place. I'm, like, allergic to their house, and it sucks. We got a new amulet. Blueprint. Okay, I gotta look at some of these things. I'm gonna have him just start processing some of these down. Let's see. I should probably go get some more leather, too. And also, I should probably get some more bulwarks. Well, not bulwarks, but keep researching spells even though I have no use for them. I really wish these were actually talents that I could, like, slot into characters or something for extra customization. Like, how rad would it be if these characters actually had, like, maybe not Path of Exile talent trees, but, like, some kind of sphere grid system? Oh, that'd be beautiful. I like the sphere grid system. Okay. Nice part about being on this speed is by the time I actually get back to the, uh, the menu, it's, they're usually full health again. It's kind of nice. Let's see if I tried Risk of Rain 2 yet. Yep. I've been uh I've been streaming that since launch. I think I've got like a little over I think it's like 44 episodes for YouTube at this point. Uh so yeah, actually if you want to want to catch up on that, that'll keep you busy. Cuz yeah, I've been playing a lot of that. I I'm getting a little bit bored, but that's just because like I've been playing too much of it. In uh well, since launch. That happens a lot. I mean, honestly, I'm going to be pretty sick of this game, I think, by the time I'm done with it. But that's that should be pretty understandable, considering. The, this gameplay with Final Fantasy Tactics-style customization. Yeah, uh, speaking of that, actually, I don't know how many of you guys have uh, seen it, but we've been playing a game called Felseal. We streamed the first, like, six episodes, and we've switched over to just recording it off-stream. Uh, but Fell Seal, Arbiter's Mark, is Final Fantasy Tactics, but as an indie game, and it is so good. 
Like it's it is one of the uh, the better like tactical RPGs I've played in a long time. And I wish more people cared about it because of how good it is. I don't know. Yeah, they haven't introduced an in-game to Risk of Rain 2. They're still in early access. Yep. It's just, I always have this problem with a lot of early access games, is that, like, you know, I play a whole bunch of it, and then I get really bored of it, and then I'm like, I will come back to this at a later date, and that later date is usually 1.0, which is usually, like, years away, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm kind of going through that right now with Nova Drifts. I really enjoy that game, but I don't really want to play any of it for a while, because I've played so much of it. Oh, hiring a new character just caps out at 30,000. Cool. Let's see. I guess technically that means I could build a character or two dedicated almost entirely to, uh, to crafting. Let's see. Oh, we really are not getting a lot of titanium here. Maybe I really have to go to that, that first zone. I might have to, actually. We'll see. The other thing I could potentially do is maybe... No, 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 no. I, I can't actually have three direct paths here. But yeah, I, I grew up on the Final Fantasy Tactics games. And I've always felt so constrained when playing other RPGs. About, like, how limited and limiting the uh, the character customization is. Even the sphere grid system in, in Final Fantasy X felt kind of weak in comparison to what kind of cool builds you could come up with in tactics. Which is a shame. I don't know. I Hopefully, hopefully in-depth character customization like that really sees a resurgence at some point. And like there are a number of games that do. I mean, Path of Exile is probably the best example I can think of. In terms of like ridiculously overcomplicated progression systems. Let's see, so that's a decent amount of ghouls. Wait for them to heal. Okay, so yeah, we're starting to get some more titanium ingots. I guess it really is just because Oh, I only was making two. That that would do it. Let's see. We're not getting a whole lot of morph leather. I'd like to get more of that. Honestly, once these guys... Once these two are actually on par with her, they should be able to start clearing the third tier as well. I was just hoping we could get enough uh, leather pants so that they'd heal back up fully. And the only other game that has moderately in-depth customization is Disgaea, Hour of Darkness. The sequel's list something to be desired. I liked Disgaea 5 when I played it recently. I wasn't keen on Disgaea... This guy too was okay. I mean, they're all good. The problem is, uh, yeah, there were a couple of problems with the Test Sky games. They didn't really have much of like a, a passive system. It was all just active moves, and many of them were just good, but like none of them were really standouty. Okay, now we're getting the morph morph leather that we're looking for. We might even be able to take on some bosses here. We'll see. Ugh. Yeah, actually, kind of in that system, I always liked the Fire, Fire Emblem games, but I always found the character customization system in that to be a little weak. I was hoping that there would be more, like, stuff that you could do with them, other than just pick their class path and then occasionally give them uh, stat-boosting items. Then again, like, I guess that game kind of benefits more from being incredibly balanced instead of being stupidly imbalanced. So, easier for it to just, you know, have limited customization and make it so you don't have, like, this ridiculous, like, super speed general that can fire shotgun blasts across the map or something insane like that. Though that would be a delicious, delicious mechanic, and I'd really enjoy that. Mainly, I just remember, uh... Really liking the first one for the Game Boy Advance, and then finding out that, like, all the other ones let you grind like crazy, so it just kind of trivialized it. You remember, uh, soloing the last boss fight of 
the first one on the 3DS, and I was like, this is kind of fun, but it lacked that certain level of, like, tension of, like, I could lose a character when your character had, like, 70 HP and just could, like, face tank anything. Is the top team using bazookas? They're, uh... They're bandit bazookas, effectively. Uh, I forget the name of them. But they give me money every time they hit an enemy. And it's not a small amount, either. I gotta go get more of them. Unfortunately, they require a stupid amount of slime. Uh, let's let's update some equipment after these runs. We've definitely got enough stuff for a while. Okay, I'm just gonna slap him over there. Okay, how much money am I sitting at? Seventy thousand. Wow. Damn. Uh, yeah. This. Okay. I was actually having doubts earlier. I was like, maybe, maybe this strategy is like a little egregious, and I should tone it down a little bit. And the answer is no. This is actually incredibly validating. Uh, let's see. So we need a lot of these. Cause I, I need to make the beetle assistant. Yeah. So we need enveloping chitin. And make as many of these as I can. I'd like to make more gall, gall shells, but I don't think I can. Okay, so we want to make... Oh, we don't have any solid roots. Well, what do I need for tre treasure chest? Oh, that's apparently a weapon, but I feel like its effect should be the reverse. Okay. Let's relax. So, this is Kazuki. Okay, so Kazuki is some somewhere in level, around level 80. Uh, let's make some massive shotguns. Okay, we get a golden massive shotgun and a blue one. Okay, so it's... Hoshi. What is this one? Agility and physical damage. Well, never mind. That goes to... Azuki. Bango. What was she using? Agility and intelligence. So that goes to Hoshi. Oh, no. This one goes to Hoshi. Does reduce his damage by some amount, which I'm not entirely sure why it does. Oh, because it doesn't scale based on intelligence. That's why. Okay, so I should probably give that to a character that can actually scale based off of that stat staff properly. Because the moon staff is better for him. So I should probably care a little bit more about what, what weapons everybody's using. Because, yeah, Eddie doesn't do as much damage with these. He actually would do more damage with the moon staff. Because his agility is garbage. Okay, so Noel can use that. So I might want to look into other scrap cannon weapons. Because, yeah, we don't do much with this. Or scrap cannon alternative-ish things. Okay, so Hoshi needs to be level 20 to use that. Uh, let's, let's sell the engineer shotgun and the pulsating sphere at the very least. 